Imagine a teacher. What do you see? I see someone in a classroom in front of a whiteboard surrounded by small people on those little plastic chairs. Now imagine a farmer. In my head, it's someone with wellies and a gilet on stood in a field in front of a combine harvester. And crucially, the teacher is a woman and the farmer is a man. And I'm willing it's the same to guess it's the same for you. But does it matter if we stereotype jobs to genders? Teachers have to be compassionate and farmers strong. And generally, women are kinder and men are more muscular, right? But that is exactly the issue we face today. A hundred years ago, women were fighting for the right to vote and 50 years ago to get out of the kitchen and into the workplace. But today we cannot stop fighting because men and women are not treated equally yet. We're not given the same opportunities. But imagine if we were. When sports centres are open, I play badminton with a local league and I've learnt that the higher level and older players generally think that in mixed doubles, the woman should play at the front, as would be tradition. But I've also discovered that really there's no match advantage for this. And from what I can tell, it's just to get the women out of the way and give the man space. I love when I'm at the front and I intercept the shuttle to show them that women are just as worthy in matches. You see, my older badminton friends are holding on to a previous way, refusing to see the good changes. And being a Christian, sadly, I know all too well that often the church is also slow to reacting to cultural shifts. Like a friend of mine who, despite having studied theology and religion, has to fight for opportunities in church while watching them be handed to her male friends. But the truth is, we are all at fault. Not just the church, not just my badminton friends, not just the sexist old man who lives down your road. Because although we're quick to condemn when someone is asked to do the, when a woman is asked to do the washing up, how quick are we to condemn when it's convenient to us, when it means we get out of carrying the heavy boxes? But imagine if we did stand up to women for women being treated equally. Imagine if we were willing to say something even when we might miss out. Imagine if we're willing to stand up to culture and treat women as they deserve. Jesus did just that. He always treated women with respect, even when culture demanded the opposite. He invited women to learn and listen in ways that would be reserved only for men. He healed women whose illnesses would have deemed them an outcast of society, being unclean and unworthy. He debated with women regardless of their social reputation. You see, Christianity is not just about the church. Christianity is about Jesus. And when you read of how Jesus treated women, it's no surprise how the women reacted. In the historical accounts of Jesus, when he's coming to the end of his life, his male disciples scatter, but the women stay with him. Even when he is hung on a cross, executed for crimes he did not commit. And Jesus didn't shoo away the women from the horrors they saw, but invited them right into the front lines of the battleground. And after Jesus died, it was women who went to check on the tomb. It was women who found it empty and discovered that Jesus was no longer dead. In a time when the testimony of women was not trusted in a court of law, the four accounts of Jesus's life all record the empty tomb being found by women. The future of Christianity was left on the shoulders of women. So let me invite you to explore this man. A man whose teaching led to radical shifts in the equal worth of men and women. Because for all the bad that has been done in, by people claiming to be in the name of Jesus, wherever Christianity spreads, so does equal, equality for men and women. So explore Christianity and explore the church, but even more than that, explore what is at the very heart of it all. Jesus, a man who loves and respects the marginalised and oppressed of society. A man who always treats everyone with the equal value and worth they deserve. Reading CU are continuing over the next few weeks to explore and imagine a different world. A world full of justice, truth and belonging. So tune in to see what difference Jesus' life could make to yours. <laughs>